this is the uh, manufacturing area of the lab. So this is where we receive products um, shortly after they've been donated. Um, so Collections packs them up in coolers and boxes to maintain their temperature. They come back here and we check them in. So we're checking for things like temperature and make sure they're packed correctly. And then after we receive them, then they go on to the next step of processing. So whole blood, we're splitting off red cells and plasma, different patients, different types of patients use components for different things. Whole blood is what we collect the most of, so they get put into the centrifuges here. So we spin them on a programmed speed and time. When it spins in the centrifuge, the red cells are heavier, so they go to the bottom, the plasma is in a layer on top, and then we take them out and um, put them in the expressors to separate the plasma and the red blood cells. Um, so when it goes in the expressor, these have springs in here, we release this and it just kind of squeezes. When we release, there's a cannula at the top and some extra bags that are connected. That will push the plasma into that empty bag. We'll seal it off and we'll be left with a bag of plasma and a bag of red cells. So after products are separated, uh, they're prepared in our computer system. That's telling the system, hey, we have this product that was donated. These are the types of products that we made. And then, depending on what type of product it is, um, it either goes on to an additional processing step or it goes into a refrigerator or freezer or, or our room temp incubators, depending on the type of product. Red blood cells are a refrigerated product, so after we separate off the plasma and filter them, they go into our unprocessed refrigerator. They're filtered, they kind of hang out in here until all the testing is complete. Usually that's the next morning, afternoon. Once testing is complete, we take them out and label them. And once they're labeled, they move into our processed refrigerator where they're ready for shipment. We are open 24 seven. Anytime a hospital needs blood because a patient needs blood, um, we receive that order and then we pick the products from the shelf to meet that order. And then we ship them out, um, pack them up, and arrange for transportation to the hospital. That is kind of the end of our part of the process. Obviously, after it's delivered to the hospital, then you know it's it's going to a patient. So everything we do here, you know, is is. Once we ship it out, it's maybe the end of our part, that we don't see it after that, but it's not the end of that product.